All right, listen up guys. We are here at the marsh. I only have two hours of fish because I'm meeting up my family at the beach right afterwards. So the plan is to catch one trout, a flounder, and maybe a redfish for a catch and cook on the beach. Hopefully I can make it happen, man. Let's get to it, man. There we go, there we go. He's a smaller guy, a smaller guy, smaller dude. Hopefully he's a keep, man. That's what I need, one keeper. It's one keeper. Oh yeah, a solid trout. He's probably gonna be right at that keep range, which would be perfect. Nice, I'll take him, yeah. Baby, 16 and a quarter, almost 16 and a half. He is gonna be our first fish today, boy. Woohoo! All right, buddy, thank you so much. You're going to make a great meal right there, boy. Don't bend too much. Well, um, yeah, that, that was that was kind of too easy. I um, already caught my one trout that I needed, but you know, it doesn't hurt to get two more. Um, if we get more than two, we'll just release them. Just fish for the sport of it. I just started literally like 30 minutes ago. guys we're using the Yozuri this is a little different model um, minnow or uh, floating twitch bait and it's catching a lot of freaking grass but it caught me the first trout today and I'm gonna see if I can get one more they seem to like it I already got hit by a ladyfish and by a trout so it looks like it might work today so what I'm doing is I'm doing something very unconventional that I really don't do I'm just sitting at this channel the bay is right there Water is flowing into this channel, into this big marsh. I'm just sitting here, it gets about maybe two and a half, three feet. And I am just throwing my, <laughs> throwing my lure into this channel, hoping that uh, I can tag a fish that kind of swims by into the marsh or out of the marsh. Yeah, there's a lot of grass here, man. That's one bad thing. That's one bad thing about these Yuzuri lures with the treble hooks that they uh, twitch down to about, what, two feet? You're gonna pick up a lot of grass, folks, and it's quite annoying sometimes, but that's just the way it is. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. What is this? Another small trout? Yeah, nice small trout. Oh man, come on, please stop. All right, young man, thank you so much for the fight, buddy. You're too small to keep. Oh my God. What the heck? Oh, nice. I get stuck and I catch a fish. Oh, it's a decent fish. What is this? It's a red fish. A little smaller red. A juvie. Oh, nice flounder. Yes. Dude, are you joking me? <laughs> that was complete luck. <laughs> Dude, nice freaking flounder. Heck yeah, man. This is going to be perfect for that catch and cook boy. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> right, check out this flounder, man. Now that's a nice healthy flounder with some nice freaking shoulders on them. Yeah, boy. Let's see how big you are. 17 and a half. 17 and a half, almost 17 and three quarters, but nice freaking flounder. That's what I'm talking about. He's going to make a nice addition to my catch and cook today, boys. Woohoo. Yeah. On, on that Yozuri, dude. They're hitting that Yozuri, bro. Ah, you son of a. Gun, you freaking, you freaking bit me. Homeboy bit me, dude. Homeboy bit me. Get in there, man. Let's let's see if we can catch a redfish, man. Make it a slam. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Whatever this is. He's a good puller. He's a nice little puller. Might be a, a baby red or a keeper trout. 
Oh yeah, it's a good trout. It's a good trout. This will do it, folks. This is gonna do it. Oh, he is a good trout. Wow, he's a good trout. 21 and a quarter, folks. I think we're done for the trout. This will be perfect. I will keep this trout and use it for the catching cook. Look at that. Yeah, boy. Three solid fish. The last one being a 21 inch, a nice trout with some thick shoulders. We're gonna keep her and use her as a catching cook. My family's almost here at the beach. I think I'm gonna call it quits, man. It's not even 7.30 in the morning and I'm pretty much done. Yozuri twitch bait was the answer today, man. I've had a lot of success with that Yozuri and I, guys, I highly recommend it. I'm not sponsored by Yozuri, but I love this Yozuri hard twitch bait and I'll leave a link in the description below for the Amazon affiliate link. If you're interested in buying it, click on that link. It helps the channel out, so. All right, ladies and gents, made it to the beach, safe and sound. Man, I had a good day fishing, man. I only spent, God, maybe two hours max, and I got a handful of fish for the catch and cook. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang out with my family. You can see my family's here, hanging out at the beach. Although the beach water is not as clear as it was a couple of days ago, I guess this northeastern, northeasterly wind really messed things up. But I'm gonna do this catch and cook as I promised you guys, and yeah, man, let's get to it. the fillet the big girl right here the 21 inch trout it's going to feed my family plus more plus we got a couple other but don't judge me on my fillet skills all right okay thank you here's that nice flounder that i caught this one has some really nice shoulders on it once again don't judge me on how i fillet All right, now that you've seen my incredible filleting skills, which please guys don't comment because I already know I'm not that good of a filleter. I got them all filleted right here, the best I can, okay? Give me credit. Now it's time to fire up that grill and we're gonna blacken all these trout and flounder. It's gonna be delicious. We got the blackened seasoning. So this is gonna be spicy, salty, and savory. <laughs> All right guys, the first batch is just about done. I'm gonna take it off the pan and let my family be the guinea pig. Nah, no, just joking. I know it's gonna be pretty good, I think. This is the speckled trout that's blackened. It looks pretty good in my opinion. Now, for the taste test. You know, I don't really consider myself a cook at all. I just do it for your entertainment purposes, but you know, I think I did this pretty good. Here it is guys, bottoms up. Oh wow, there that's good. Holy smoke, it's like crispy on the outside and very tender on the inside. <laughs> okay everyone, meet my wife, she's Allison. Okay honey, try this, this is the blackened trout. Tell me what you think. Really good? All right guys, here is the flounder. This is gonna be the best tasting fish in my opinion with a blackened, although it's not really Recommend to eat like this? I'd rather, I, I'd rather eat it raw. Here's a flounder. Now, I might have burnt it just a little bit. Bottoms up. Oh, wow. The flounder tastes so much better compared to trout, in my opinion. 
try it, try it. Try to flounder. Tell me what you think. <laughs> okay. It That's looks a flounder. Good. Looks good. Wait, are you filming? <laughs> it's delicious. Flounder's good? Well, I right. know. This a is a trout. That's a trout, yeah. Well, I don't really like fish. Well, no. <laughs> the fork. <laughs> Look at the fork. <laughs> yeah, the fork kind of melted. <laughs> what do you think about that flounder? That's good. Is it better than the trout? No, I like the trout better. Trout better, interesting. All right, guys, that's going to be it for my catch and cook. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of this catch and cook. Um, I had a great time, man. This is a life, man. Enjoying the beach with your loved ones, with your friends, family, whoever. I encourage you guys to get out, catch your fish, cook it on the beach anywhere on the beach and just have a good time guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video make sure you hit that like button if you have yet hit that subscribe button and thank you guys so much and i'll catch you guys on the next one